for over 1.8 million years, long before the rise of cities, kings, or even Homo sapiens, humanity lived in small, nomadic bands. No hierarchy, no private property, no accumulation of wealth, just shared labor and shared life. This was not a utopia, but it was egalitarian. Anthropologists call it primitive communism. Karl Marx saw it. So did Kropotkin. Rosa Luxemburg wrote about it. These early human groups weren't equal because they had laws. They were equal because of how they were organized. But something changed. Around 10,000 BC, the Neolithic Revolution transformed how humans lived and how they related. From mobility to settlement, from sharing to storing, from egalitarian bands to stratified civilizations. What drove this shift wasn't just agriculture, it was the rise of surplus. And wherever surplus emerged, so did hierarchy. With it came something else, a new kind of network, one that centralized power and turned cooperation into control. Today, we live in a world built on those networks. The internet, corporations, governments, they all rely on structures that look robust, but are, in fact, fragile. You've heard of scale-free networks, the kind that dominate modern infrastructure and social systems, but let's be honest, they're not scale-free. They're domination networks. A few hubs hold the power. Everyone else, peripheral replaceable, disconnected. In this book, Dr. Agustin Osterchuk asks, what would it take to build human systems where everyone matters? Where the structure itself resists domination? Where freedom isn't granted from above, but grows from within? Using network theory, he explores how topology shapes power and how redesigning our life organizational forms might be the key to real democracy, economic, political, and social. Because if we want a different future, we have to start with a different structure, a structure that returns power to the people.